Yes. This next one just may make your stomach turn. Lord help us. A Portland man is suing his local Red Robin restaurant after accusing employees of serving him a salad that contained a certain bodily fluid. Mm. Uh, the man alleges that employees <laughs> served him the contaminated <sighs> condiment in an act of racial discrimination. Court documents show the patron is suing for a million dollars, accusing restaurant workers of sexual abuse, negligence, and racial discrimination after a lab test reportedly determined he was right about Yo. what was found in his food. Yo. I don't even know Ladies, what I would do. What do you think about this? And how can restaurants prevent this from happening? How can I don't know what I would do. Can you do? imagine? First of all, thank God he spotted it. But spotting but it and then suspecting what, what it, is, it is. And then taking it home. Like, and can I get a good bag? It and yes. And the fact that he already ingested it. I want none, none of, of it. it. I would absolutely die. I have a story to tell. So oh, when no. I had gone to Miami, me and my husband at the time, and uh, we it, we got there late in you know in the afternoon. So we wanted we went out to a club and then we went to a diner, right? So we're sitting at the diner at the, at the bar, and I ordered I don't know if it was oatmeal or something. And so the waitress brought it out, and I took a, a taste, and I was like. Something doesn't feel right about this. Something doesn't feel right about it. So I call her back in, back out, and I said, there's something wrong with this. Um, I don't want it. And she goes, you don't remember me? And I go, what? And she goes, you slapped me last night. I was like, what? Wait, I've never what? met you before. We literally had to show her our boarding pass because she thought I was someone else who slapped her on the street and so I don't know what she had in my oatmeal because I ordered oatmeal and I was just like, imagine if I had eaten the whole thing, but she swore it was me. Thank God my husband was like, we just landed in, in Miami. Like we're not even, like we hadn't even you been there. You have a doppelganger night. somewhere. Crazy. Did, wait, but wait. who knows what was in that thing? Did she believe you at the end and what did she do to your oatmeal? I don't know. She never I'll never you? know to this day. No. She what did she do? She just, she just didn't believe she it? She just didn't believe it. She did not believe. And the guy that was sitting next to us couldn't believe this whole scenario was happening. So you never know what people can do to your food. I would, thank God, some, something in me said. The way I am going to learn how to cook. Oh, okay. my well, God. Well, no, that, that's why I tell people, when, when we say tip people correctly, you yes. tip them because they're protecting your food from the kitchen, even in the kitchen, all the way. And you know what? We just got to be nicer. We got to have more class. We do. You know, if you say, what, what can the restaurants do? Right. Training. And then there should be laws against it. There should be cameras. There should be laws. Like, the laws. Cameras. That person should actually go to jail for Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And not only that, so you're going oh. into another room to do something, to put in someone's food. That's not OK. That's not OK. So not no, OK. No, they they uh, will be changing some things. So, so. nasty.